Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Ease 8. Uh, last time we explored even further in our search for materials for our watchtower and in the end we found enough valuable materials to make it and to build some additional facilities like, as you see in the background, more fortifications for our village. We get an extra kitchen, we also got like, a, I think, a bed of plants, but we'll check it out in a moment. Uh, so right now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go around the village, talk to everybody, just to uh, bond, raise morality, that kind of stuff. And after that, we're gonna explore some more. Cause last time we got stopped when we were going towards the top of the mountain, when we were in front of a canyon. That's the place I want to explore a little bit more today. But first, let's check out the village. And of course, <laughs> if there is a new chest here. Ooh, ratatouille recipe. Alright, might as well go and learn that. Uh, use this recipe book to learn how to cook a hearty ratatouille. Yeah, I just want to learn all the recipes. <laughs> right, this is the boat we've made. Are it's fish. yep, it's definitely first. Uh, it's already in the water. It floats. So it's ready for us to fish and get up more materials for us. Great. Um, shall we fish once? All right. Just to see if there's anything different here. What's biting today? Nothing. If you keep throwing like that. Darn it. That's better. One. Yeah, that's definitely the same uh, fish that was here when we first started. Good to know. That way we don't have to refish at locations we know there are lower type of fish. Uh, can we interact with this from this side? No. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out our kitchen. And see if we can make some new recipes there or if it's just a visual thing. Guess the village looks more like a real village with the watchtower. As you can see, we were able to create some cookware too. <laughs> so when's lunch? Ooh, no, 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 at all, please. Don't say that. You look happy. Y yes, I'm surprised at myself. I'm sure the fact that we can engage in more activities is the case. More than that, though, I must be happy to have accomplished something with everyone. I must work even harder. Yes, you can. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping we could literally interact with the kitchen itself and that we didn't need to use the campfire to cook stuff. Because that's why you have a kitchen. Uh, would you just look at this new clinic? <laughs> I asked Kathleen if she could make some new medicinal implements and she certainly came through. This will make it much easier to perform more thorough examinations. <laughs> Though, it would be best if no one was injured naturally. How can I help you? Alright, so no additional stuff just yet. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Take care. I do not actually plan to get hurt, at least not at this point. Also, I did check uh, in between episodes to this list and we got a few new items. But the one I was most happy with... We can make salt fiber. Yes, of course. It would be a lot better if we just found the enemy that drops it. But this is a nice uh, alternative at least. It does cost a lot of materials to make, but still. I'd rather have it. You know, this feels like a symbol of our teamwork. It was a lot of work, but we were able to do it. <laughs> You're right. This is the result of everyone's hard work. Plus, if we keep this up then, perhaps we'll escape this place sooner than expected. And for both uh, have our daughters waiting for us. Let's focus on that task at hand and sweat it out. Very true. I look forward to working with you. Yeah, they're becoming the real best of friends. Right. They also said that they made some changes to the resting areas. Damn, nice table as well, and some 
shells to put stuff. Okay, I don't know what the reason for this big gigantic pillar in the middle is. It does look very nice though. You there, do something about this food. I've been served the same slop day after day. Have a gourmet's palette. You can't think this would satisfy one of my refined tastes. Someone bring me food suitable for my taste and bring it now. Oh, shut it, please. Ah, and even more of a covering for the ladies. And if anyone accidentally comes in, they don't see them sleeping in their beds. Whatever makes it work for them. The village facilities have expanded. Everyone is settling in. This too is God's will. Let us pray. You pray all you want, uh, sister. I'm just about to make the change. With that watchtower up, we should have plenty of advance uh, warning if the beast tried to raid us again. That means I'll have enough time to work on your weapons before the fighting even starts. <laughs> We've got quite a motley crew assembled at this village. I could take or leave Sir Carlin, but Captain Barros is doing a great job keeping everyone in line. Yeah, but if everybody is willing to stay in line, it also really helps. Carlin, he's an ass. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind losing him as well. Ooh. Brilliant laugh. This is good. A lot of perch, a lot of rest. You're good, so comfy. There's no way to climb? Really? No. All for a beautiful watch all over the island. Hey, those three stones. We've been there. <laughs> We're about to be there. Nice. At least the watchtower is doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to help us watch. Nice seating area as well. Ah, oh, too bad. I was hoping that we could plant stuff in here ourselves. Then we could grow them. Okay, what's that? Bill. A fine shoe bill, stork, stares intently at you. You must have arrived at Kase Village somewhat recently. It's probably going to stay put. It seems to like this place. Squaw. Maybe it's hungry? Try feeding it some fish. <laughs> Shubal is staring straight at you. Ah, so we can give them all the fish we've uh, caught so far. At least I assume it's everything we caught so far. Alright, let's uh, give him the Grand Angler. <laughs> let's give him something to choke on. Scrackle. She will open her mouth wide and gulp down the fish in one swallow. She looks very satisfied. Oh, cool! So we can get gifts from uh, feeding her fish. Nice. Okay, it is grayed out, so probably only with new fish. Alright. That gives us another reason to fish more. Gulp. She will swallow the fish in one gulp. She seems happy, but that may not have been enough. Perhaps he wants a different fish. Uh, she will swallow the fish in one gulp. He seems happy, but still not enough. Alright, more gulping. Still not enough. She looks satisfied. Shield earring. Bird, how did you get that earring? I won't believe if you made it. Which corpse did you rob for that? 
All right, so basically catch more different fish, new fish, give them to the bird, get more items. Hmm, we can do that. Not satisfied. I think we might be able to just get another item as well. Because we did caught a lot of different fish already. She looks satisfied. Ooh, a spirit elixir. Sounds very fancy. Alright, so that's all we have for now. Alright, we'll be back sure, we'll, with more fish. Now, let's see what that elixir was, cause... Base max SP plus 10. That might be really useful to use right now. Cause this is not a stat increase for one particular character. This is a stat increase for our maximum SP. I'm gonna use this straight away. Okay, so we see that extra little bar in there. Very nice. So, technically, if we find enough of those items, we can make the entire circle blue. I want that. I really want that. Alright, so, that is uh, one item we'll definitely use straight away. Because th there's no reason not to. Because it will enhance our combat. And we don't need more information on who to give it to. Because we all are using it. Nice. All right, did we have more people here we need to talk to? I don't think so. Let's watch the board one more time, because... No, I thought Carlin uh, bitching about the food would probably get him to move a little bit. All right, let's uh, do one more thing. I want to make the Ratatouille. Now, everybody, eat up! And this SP region, so this is actually pretty nice. All right, let's go back on the research. So, where do you want to go? I think they want to go to the canyon, and I wouldn't be too bad against it. So, yeah, let's go this way. I think this is the closest spot we have. All right, I'm gonna run uh, straight past everything. And see if we can do it quickly enough, then I know for next time situations if we are gonna cut it or just uh, walk it. But uh, seeing as this is an action game, it's really easy to uh, go past enemies. Yeah! Switch! Yeah, these are all very low level items now for us. We need like sturdy lumber and that kind of things. And for that, I really think we need to go into a new area. You'll stay there. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Alright, and we're here. This was really quickly, to be honest, so don't think we need to cut it. Alright, new areas. Let's uh, get our game mask on. And let's do this. Well, it's a little bit higher uh, item, but I want even better than this. He's had a change of heart about coming with us? Somehow I doubt it.
It is a really cool looking gun. Okay, that's surprising. weapon. Essentially a handheld cannon. I believe it uses gunpowder to fire lead projectiles. What a scary weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's boombox. <laughs> you startled us. He did, but I think a thank you is in order. <laughs> no thanks necessary. Regardless, you have my gratitude. But you could have warned us before you fired. Perhaps. And you'd be down one arm before I'd taken a single shot. Huh? Quite rude to stare, you know. And the question is, what are you staring at? Because if I wasn't too sure, what it looks like he's staring at her breasts. Damn, huh? You're straight for it, that's for sure. I'm coming with you. Oh? Excuse me. Hummel joined the party. What exactly do you think you're doing? You can't simply barge your way into our party without telling us your motives. We're headed the same direction. There. Motive established. <laughs> what a character. Mr. Kristen, don't you have anything to say about this? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> exactly. Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you can hold your own in a fight, kid. Glad to have you. My word. Why do I keep encountering thick-headed fools? Well, maybe because you're one yourself? Hmm? Party formation. Select party from the camp menu and press to the right to change the party's formation. Press A to switch characters. All right. And the following effects may occur depending on the active members. If multiple members have the same damage type, damage dealt increased by 1.1. If party has three different damage types, a rare item drop rate increases. All right. To be honest, I'd rather have that rare drop rate than uh, the increased damage. So I see that Hummel has the same type as Lexia. So we'll be switching those two around. Having said that, I think it will be a perfect time to test out our new characters. And he does have some new moves. Well, all moves are new because he just entered the party. Uh, right, so a Venomous Bullet, Burst Shot and Guilty Right. Because those are all the three he has at the moment. even at a higher level than uh, the rest of us. Uh, let's give him the glass for now. Ooh, his dark jacket is better than whatever we have. Awesome. Uh, let's see, defense wise... His strength is average, his defense is higher. His weapon is on a lower level, so we definitely want uh, to send him by Kathleen. Uh, I think these three will be most advantageous. 
Uh, increased skill experience gained by plus one. I think we're gonna give him two resist ones. Because uh, that's basically about what I said before, that the only increase we get from leveling up our skills is a bigger area of effect so far. I think I'd rather have a resistance against status effects. Alright, so uh, yes, we do need to upgrade this weapon. I think we're best to explore until we find another crystal. At least one in the area. So, let's start exploring. Let's uh, get a target off there because it's really messing. So fiber, I wanted that, and where is that other one going? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think uh, it was pulled back to his original location. Perfect. That means once we get back to the village, we can make some uh, costumes to change our appearance. That's really nice. Where did you acquire that firearm? You yeah. don't need to know that right now. All right, he is a bit slow, but I would be too surprised if he's really powerful. There it is. Oh yeah, let's look at the map and see where it wants us to go. Okay, so I think the direction we are going is towards this one. We could also go south to this one. I don't think it matters either way. At least not at this time. Look. A cave. It could lead to the other side of the valley. It looks like a long way to go. This area seems safe, so why don't we camp here for the night? <laughs> Thanks, let's set someone uh, up. You're getting used to camping. I want the first one, because he was really against it at first. I, I'm not getting used to anything, especially not camping. I'm just doing what needs to be done so we can get off this damn island. <laughs> Let's get started then. Hmm. You said you were a transporter or something. What do you transport anyway? Mail and packages and stuff? Anything. Contraband. Dead bodies. It's all the same to me. Good. Dead bodies? Transporters are heavily involved in the criminal underworld. Or so they say. Many people utilize their services to transport all manner of illicit material. So, what's a transporter like you doing here anyway? Wouldn't be professional to answer that. Rule number one, never breach a contract. Rule number two, never ask question. Rule number three, never open the package. Every transporter lives and dies by these three unbreakable rules. Relax. I have no intention of harming you. Oh, uh, good. I feel much safer now. Are you absolutely certain it's safe for us to travel with him? <laughs> I don't know. Or he doesn't seem so bad. I don't think, even if I was to think, there might be trouble. There is no point in saying, I don't know, it will just plant a seed of distrust and let's be honest he doesn't seem too bad because he did help us 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with the second one. Yeah. I suppose he's surprisingly serious and seems very set in his ways too. Yeah, reminds us uh, of a certain someone else, huh, Lexia? Mm -hmm. I suppose this world really is filled with all different kinds of people. A forest fire? Yes, the people at the temple are no doubt panicking by now. <sighs> Look! Olga, black smoke is rising from the direction of the temple. No! Even though the temple is surrounded by water, a place that strong will... Dana, Sarai, we need to get back! No, going back won't change a thing. Then why? If you knew a fire was going to happen, why did you lead us all this way? Scarlet visions are harbingers of immediate future events that cannot be prevented. I know that all too well. All too well? Olga, she's leading us to... The Reservoir. For millennia, this reservoir has been the main source of water for the kingdom and the temple. From here, one can adjust the floodgate near the made a sanctuary to control the downstream flow. What's a floodgate doing here? Olga, Sarai, listen to me. I need your essence to save the temple. Wait, Dana, are you... Damn, that glare is beautiful. Hmm, hmm what's the matter? <laughs> I've been having strange dreams lately. <laughs> strange dreams? Are you getting enough sleep? I make it a rule to get no less than 7 hours of sleep every night. That's the bare minimum a transporter needs to function at peak performance. All right, let's get going. Nearby event points have been marked on the map. And of course, I will. But yes, I will mention the dreams to uh, all our companions every time. Cause, uh, like we already got a reaction from uh, Laxia when we were talking about it with somebody else. I'm hoping by not keeping this a secret from anybody it will uh, grant us new events later on in the story. Because if so, that will be very cool. Alright, so the cave is where the game wants us to go. But, what I was thinking... Uh, I was thinking of leaving the cave for next time, amongst other things. And for now to go back to the village and increase the, let us say, fighting potential of Hummel. And maybe use some of the fiber to create new costumes for everybody. So yeah. Let's try that. And the fact that Hummel is now in our party, would that count as an extra person? It does. Nice. That means we can open this one as well. Definitely something we need to keep in mind for next time or the end of this one but first let's upgrade his weapon no new quest what should i upgrade i'll get started i wonder if we upgrade it to level three if we can it's complete go straight into another level or if this weapon is at the same level i think it's going to be the second part I'll get started. Because it would be way too overpowered if it's gonna upgrade Ooh, it. It's complete. Even one level more. Nope. <laughs> it stops there. Strength 84, defense minus 5. So it's the strongest weapon we have at this time. Not bad. Not all bad right. at all. That really does help with the offset against uh, the slowness of his first attack. How can I help you today? Nothing right. he wants. 
Alright, beautiful. Okay, let's talk to our tailor. And see if we have enough to make a few items out of that fiber. Please take your time. Alright, so four, we have twelve, so we can make three. Uh, I was hoping for an outfit for Hummel as well. Oh well. Then I'm gonna make anything, everything but the Luxia one, because we already have another Luxia one, right? Or I can wait for the Clingy Picker, because I think this is for everyone. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna make the outfits first. <laughs> this is a rare product. Yeah, we're gonna equip them straight away because I wanna see how it looks. This is a rare product. <laughs> this is a rare product. Please come again. Alright. Nice different color than what we already have. Ah, uh, probably gotta be in the wilds before I can see it from the rest. Yes. Or I can just walk by. Damn, Lexia. Got a different hair color as well. I do like the color of your dress. Mm, the color of your hair, a mm, little bit less than that. Alright, I wonder where so hot is. Should he be at the water side? He is. Ooh, I really do like Sahad ones. This looks so much better on him. Yeah, so I think the only one I really like is Sahad's different color set. At all, I'm uh, straight through the middle. I don't care either way if it's red or green. Uh, from Alexia, I'd rather have the other dress that we have for her. This one. Looks far better on her and a lot more sexy as well. So for now, uh, we're gonna wear these ones for a while. Since we already have it, so we might as well. And as soon as we get some more fibers, we're gonna make that cleaning Piggard as well. Alright, I think that's it for now. Why is he... Ouch, would it kill you to be a little bit more gentle? Oh, I'm sorry. But I can't help that this medicine will sting a little. Enough of your excuses. Did those women tell you to deliberately cause me pain? Uh, well, if he has enough energy to complain this much, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Okay, so Carlin had a boo-boo. <laughs> That's basically what's happening right now. Alright. Okay, so next time we're going to go back up on the mountain. I will, I will decide if we're going to explore the cave first or if we're going to go into the other direction. Because one of the two will probably be blocked uh, by something. But uh, that is going to be on next time. So I hope you will be there as well. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.